So after a while of complete silence, yesterday was a pretty exciting day for Doom Eternal news. We got the official name for the first DLC, we got a teaser, not even the full trailer, just a teaser, a small snippet of the trailer of the new DLC, and some other small pieces of information, you know, some stuff we can look forward to for Doom Eternal in the future, because it sounds like we are going to be getting a brand new game mode for the campaign, I, I should add that. There's also going to be some changes to future master levels, more cosmetic items, there's going to be changes to battle mode another game mode for it as well technically as it, it's a competitive mode for it and we're gonna be talking about all that stuff here today but I do want to mention that a lot of the important stuff like specific dates or time frames and when to expect this stuff were, was all omitted because Hugo Martin and Marty Stratton basically said that well before the official launch of Doom Eternal the entirety of its software have all been working from home from their personal setups and it basically sounds like because of that, you know, the pandemic has had a pretty significant impact on development and post-launch content. It, it doesn't really sound like the game is where they wanted it to be. And as a result of that, they have made some pretty dramatic changes in the roadmap for post-launch content. Primarily, uh, the big one was the decision with Invasion Mode. Anyways, let's jump into it as it's a pretty decent amount of stuff to talk about. Special thank you to Boom, who was so kind enough to create this over in the Discord basically rounding up everything that was touched upon. So let's talk about the stuff that was not mentioned first. And the big one of that would be no official release date for the Nintendo Switch port of Doom Eternal. This was something that was very, very, very briefly touched on. And to summarize it, Marty Stratton essentially said that Panic Button, the same development team behind the Doom 2016 port, are still in fact working on Doom Eternal's port. The problem is, is they basically ran into the same issue that its software ran into, and that is that they They've been working on this port all from home and that it is still a work in progress they're close to being finished with it but they don't want to give a release date because they don't want to rush it i mean i'm not really looking forward to this because I, I got my switch jacked so i don't have a switch but this does make me wonder how far along is this port and how long have they themselves been working from home because if i remember correctly right before the launch of doom eternal they basically said that the nintendo switch port was almost damn near perfect they just needed a couple more months to bake and that it should be out relatively soon and then we haven't really heard anything since then but if i had to guess about us hearing or seeing anything in three weeks on august 27th we are going to be getting the full trailer for the first dlc for doom eternal if we don't see or hear anything about the nintendo switch port by then then i don't know i mean i think they should at the very least show a little bit of gameplay to just show people how far along it's coming if it's not ready for release at least give some kind of reassurance you know the lack of seeing makes it harder to be patient or believed by people for the majority of people you can't argue with the stuff that you see but moving on ray tracing for pc was also not mentioned but i will say that a couple days ago bethesda did put out a statement that they were already working on the next generation of doom eternal for the playstation 5 and the Xbox X series. So in my mind, with Sony announcing that the PlayStation 5 it should be capable of ray tracing right out the gate, I would expect ray tracing for PC to come out around the same time, if not maybe a little bit after that, but not too far behind it. Should also say, I don't think Doom Eternal is going to be a launch title for the next generation of console. So with the PlayStation 5, Xbox X series, and then ray tracing support for those two consoles as well as PC already sounds like a lot on their plate. And then, you know, with them working from home and all the other stuff who knows also changes or improvements to demon ais or empowered demons were not brought up or addressed at all neither were crashes or any other bugs i know some people are still experiencing crashes with slayer gates on console which really sucks i mean all i can offer is maybe completely uninstalling your game deleting saved files and reinstalling maybe that'll fix it or if you guys can offer a fix i'll, I'll pin the most helpful comment there was also no mention of the exhaustia master level finally being released which i still don't get i'm pretty sure it's it's done isn't it wasn't it something that was discovered like all the way back in the, in the second event i don't know why they're still holding on to it especially since it sounds like they're already working on other master levels i mean they announced a master level for super gore nest which i am extremely excited for super gore nest is probably my favorite level it could be that they're holding on to exhaustia along with super gore nest because potentially play testing specific challenges for master levels uh, they did mention that they are going to be adding in challenges for these master levels 
levels and upon completion you're going to be getting specific in-game rewards for each one i would assume that they work a little bit like the mission challenges although the rewards are going to be presented in a similar way that milestone completions are rewarded or it could be a mixture of the two as they did mention that they are going to try to incentivize players completing master levels on harder difficulties which is something that i said since day one would have been a fantastic idea it also sounded like they're going to be adding in ultra nightmare into master levels as, as hugo martin mentioned that there's going to be rewards for not only completing the challenges but there's going to be a reason for completing the harder difficulties and then once you complete all the master levels on the hardest difficulty which he did say specifically was ultra nightmare you'll be given the ultimate reward he also said that there's going to be a another one up challenge being added which if you guys didn't know the one up challenge in doom eternal is the challenge where you have to complete the entire campaign with 10 extra lives the only thing that confused me was when he mentioned the one up challenge that they're working on he was going back and forth between master levels and another game mode that they're working on which is classic mode classic mode is a single player based game mode where you essentially started off with just your shotgun and throughout the campaign you got to find the rest of your arsenal which also sounds like you can complete that on ultra nightmare now my main question for this is is it going to be like the original doom games where if you die you lose all your weapons if i had to guess i would say yes because it seems like doom eternal is a real homage to the original games at least art design wise and considering that we already have a classic doom filter we're just missing sprites it would make that much more sense to go original doom rules at least i think so um i would also love them to tie in a little bit of an arcade mode to this everyone gets scores you get leaderboards make it a little competitive you know i think them doing that would also scratch that itch of so many people wanting arcade mode to be added to doom eternal but doom 2 with eternal's movement fuck yeah but that's where i was confused i don't know if those rewards are meant for the master levels or classic mode or maybe both but either way there are they are going to be adding in more cosmetics incentives to play on harder difficulties beyond what we have now a new game mode and working on more master levels now unfortunately with the dlc coming out and all this other content being given to us invasion mode was postponed all the way until 2021 marty stratton and hugo martin essentially said that they wanted to prioritize dlc and in light of everybody working from home, they unfortunately had to push that back. At one point, they described it as, for a programmer, them trying to work on invasion mode, it was like the equivalent of running three game modes at once. Which to me sounded like the programmer was trying to balance out, you know, the demons, how they work, AI, how the Slayer, and then you have to throw in all this balancing environments into it. I mean, invasion mode did sound a little complicated. If you go back and read some of the earlier interviews, it, it sounded like demons can see things that the Slayer couldn't, like jump pads or getting to arenas before the Slayer can, and all these crazy ways to stalk a Slayer before you can actually engage in combat. Apparently, with everyone working from home, it just, it, it's not feasible right now. Couple that with the fact that it sounds like they're already behind in post launch content, and so many people preferring DLC over invasion mode anyway. Anyways, it, it seems like the right call to go forward and continuously provide everyone with the content they're expecting. This might be a little too much to ask, but with Invasion Mode now sidelined until further notice, it would be nice to see Empowered Demons rework. You know, buff up the frequency, maybe buff them up themselves, because right now they're just kind of whatever. They're just wandering ammo depots that aren't even that frequent. Anyways, that is essentially it. A new game mode, classic mode, some more master levels coming around the corner. We got a competitive mode coming from battle mode, which I forgot that is going to be season based they mentioned that's going to be out as soon as it's ready it sounds like they're putting the final touches on that but just from what i got off of it there's going to be a little bit of skill based matchmaking put into that because they did mention that your border is going to be tied to that if you guys didn't know your performance in battle mode is basically told to you via the outline around your title stone is i think you've never played battle mode then it goes bronze gold pearl and then red with the the slayer runes if i'm not mistaken and that's that's all based off of your last five battle mode matches new challenges new cosmetics more ways to rip and tear what are you guys most excited for what are you looking forward to the most how does classic mode sound to you do you want them to incorporate an arcade mode into that let's talk uh, i'm curious to what you guys have to say like always if you guys haven't joined the discord yet link to that is down in the description probably going to be in the pinned comment as well but what do you think what do you think the next master level is that we're going to be getting when do you think that's going to be how do you feel about invasion mode being postponed practically for a year since we're not getting it until after the dlc or at least that sounds like what the plan is thank you guys so much for watching
and I'll see you all next time.